Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today let's discuss about a website form builder in Odoo 40. Form acts as the greatest way of expressing the needs and queries for the customer. So the various companies have website pages to express their questions by filling it out and uh, storing directly to the database. So the form functionality in Odoo helps a user to analyze the queries and needs of the customers. Rather than that, the users can also obtain uh, tips on how to improve this, uh, their products. So these forms can also act as a feedback forms, which will allow the customers to post their reviews and allow the users to analyze them. So in order to use the website uh, form builder, uh, you can see an option inside application, that is a module. So when you close the app filter and search for uh, form builder, Here you can see that module that is website form in order to add website form builder to your website page. So after enabling that is installing that you can add to your website page. So here we have our website module. So users can create a new pages directly from uh, the back end of the website. So here we have option to create pages. You can see all the great pages. So new pages can be created right from here. And we can also go directly to website and create pages. So the form of uh, postings can be viewed by the user and the company executives of the website module. So when you go to website, so here you can see some of the menus like home, shop, events, forum, blog, uh, so these are the menus and when you click on the menu, you can see that page. So in order to create a new page, just click on this option uh, plus new and you'll be able to create a new page. So if you want to create forum or event or blog post, you can just click on that options. So I'm just clicking on this page and here you can see uh, you have an option to provide the page title. So we can add the uh, page title here and if you want to add menu to your website, uh, for this website, you can do that also. So after that, click continue. So when you click continue, you can see that here a menu is created, feedback form, and nothing is added to this page. So we have to add customization. Uh, so when you uh, after that, you can see here option to add blocks to your page. Uh, there are styling options and many other options. So here, when you come below. Under dynamic content, you can see a block that is form. So when you drag this to your page, you can see here a form, uh, which uh, by default some fields are given like your name, phone number, email ID, company subject, and your question queries. So here we can make changes to uh, each object. Like here you can see the label. So when you click on this, uh, you can see all the styling option for that uh, field. So you can add the action need to be done mm, like it can be apply for a job creating customer creating an opportunity creating a task so here when you click on the subject also you can see that options here action option so currently just send an email you can set that then you can set the recipient email from here itself then we can add the mark fields as required. So if you click on this, and here it's, there is option to uh, mark it as required. Um, so you can provide optional. Okay, then here you can see labels with then you can set on success URL, background color, and content width, height. And there are also some field options for your field. You can see them here. Here also, also we can mark it as required. Then we can also provide option for making a field uh, hidden. Here 
then here we also have some other option to customize your website form. So here you can add theme colors. There are um, so many theme, theme options also. Like uh, you can see the font options, you can change the style of your buttons. Then there are also some input settings and website settings. So you can just click on that, click on each object and make styling for your object. So after creating, making changes, just save this form. And just publish this. So it is not published currently now. Uh, so we just publish that. So you can see it is published. And from here, you can uh, give details. Subject. And here we can submit it. So when you try to submit this form, here you can see please fill in the form correctly. This because we have added, uh, we have said that this field is mandatory that is required. So you have to provide a uh, value. And after that, you can submit. So you can see it is redirected to a uh, thank you page. You can see that here. And when you submit, uh, along with this, you can see some uh, contact details. You can see my company address, phone number, and you can also see the contact email ID. Okay, then here, when you come under pages, you can see option to edit menu main manage pages so when you click on this manage pages you can see that uh, so this is our form feedback form you can see the url here and this is a thank you page that we have seen before so when you submit the form it is redirected to this page so that's all about a website form builder in Odoo Forty. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to Odoo at Cyprocess.com.